Hello, welcome to Raymond Castile's Basement of Horror. This is the big giveaway. We're going to pick a winner right here. On this episode, we're going to pick a winner in the annual Basement of Horror giveaway. Usually, we do it during the Halloween season. This time, we're doing it during the Christmas season. Okay. And uh, to refresh your memory, the winner will get to choose between this Trick or Treat Studios Creature from, from the Black Lagoon, Candy Pail, keeping in mind that uh, the, uh, the handle, one end, is disconnected. The rivet came loose, but you'll get the rivet, so if you, know, you want to try to pop it back or whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But just reminding you of that, in case you pick that creature, uh, and then you see the handle and say, well, what's, what's this? Uh, it does have that little issue. The other prize that you can pick would be this set of Placo monsters. And these are from 1991. That creature pale is contemporary. These are 1991. So you can pick something vintage or you can pick something modern. So you get all four of these if you choose this prize. You get all four of these Placo monsters. We've got Dracula, Mummy, Wolfman, Frankenstein. And these are cool toys from, from the period. Now the, the creature pail, there's some question as to whether that is still available or not. At the time uh, when I did the first video for this announcing the giveaway that creature pail was sold out everywhere and was starting to sell for inflated prices on eBay and then big bad well there was a, a European or a UK dealer that apparently had some I'm not sure about that and uh, then big bad toy store had some in stock and I ordered one from big bad toy store uh, I don't have it yet. I know someone else who views the channel ordered one. And then it was immediately out of stock again. So who knows if we're going to get creature pails or not. Maybe it's just a glitch in their system and they didn't really have any for sale. I don't know, but there is a sort of a on again, off again availability to this. But it's my understanding that this thing is sold out everywhere and Trick or Treat Studios isn't going to make anymore because they don't have, uh, they no longer have a license with Universal. There's a story there, there's a dispute there we won't get into, but you're not going to see any more Universal Studios licensed products from Trick or Treat Studios for a while. So all of that Universal stuff that they had for sale this past couple of years is all going to be gone at, as of now. And on their website, they have some last chance items that are universal licensed. So I think a lot of it's gone. But if there's something Trick or Treat Studios makes that's licensed through Universal that you want, better get it now because uh, six months from now, it'll be 10 times the price on eBay. So that's just, I think, I, I think the word is out now in the collecting community that you need to if you want something universal trick-or-treat studios you gotta go get it right now so i'm not as far as that creature pay i'm not um i can't guarantee that it is completely unavailable at retail at this moment you know some could pop up at a retailer online they might have some available but it's my understanding that it's sold out so it is something that's why I'm offering it, because it is something special that is difficult to, to obtain, and you might not be able to get it easily any other way. These Placo monsters, they're gettable. Uh, they don't sell for a lot. I think that that's, that set is, it's, in terms of dollars and cents, it's worth more than that creature pail is at the moment. 
You know, I think it's fairly comparable uh, value-wise, though, as far as how how obtainable and how special the Placo monsters are compared to this creature pail. It's, you know, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. I try to make these things kind of equivalent so that one doesn't grossly outweigh the other. So you have a, a good contemporary choice and you have a good vintage choice that are somewhat equal, more or less. So that, those are the prizes. The winner can choose either the Creature Pale or those four Playco monsters. And I will ship your choice to you. You don't have to pay anything. I pay the shipping. The way that people entered this contest was to comment on the official giveaway video. We had approximately 215 entries. And I don't know how that compares to previous years. I didn't, I didn't compare them. But that seems like a lot of entries, 200, 215. That's a lot of people. Here's the, <laughs> I've already printed them out and cut them up into little individual names. And there's the official Basement of Horror Witch's Cauldron. I will pull one of these names out of this cauldron and the winner will get to choose which prize they want. I will ship it to them. Before I draw the names, I want to thank every one of the people who entered this contest. So all of these poor little lost souls in this cauldron, I want to thank every one of them. Thank you for watching this channel. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for being a Basement of Horror viewer. Whoever the winner is needs to get in touch with me via Facebook. YouTube doesn't have any way to send private messages. Not really. They used to, but not anymore. The way you need to get a hold of me is through Facebook. If you're not already friends with me, then you should friend me on Facebook Look for Ray Sharif Castile. Don't look for Raymond Castile. Look for Ray Sharif Castile with a black and white profile picture. You can't miss it. It's, when you see that profile picture, you'll, you'll know it's me. It's a black and white picture. Friend me and message me and say, I'm the, I'm the one who won, hello. And then you can give me your address and I'll be able to send this on its way. Don't put your address in the video comments. Don't, don't do that. Uh, and don't put your email there either. Use Facebook, use the messenger system on Facebook and we'll get in touch that way. And you can give me your address. Whoever the, the winner is. I don't know yet. It's one of these people. All right, well, I guess uh, that's enough stalling around. It's time to pick a winner. I've got a very scientific method. I just look away and pull one out. If by chance I pull it out and there's two or more stuck together, I'm, I'm going to disqualify them, put them back in there, and try again. I need to pull out one winner. Sometimes these papers stick together. So if that happens, then it's a do-over. OK, are you ready? I don't have any way of ascertaining whether or not you are ready. I'm going to assume that you are ready. So here we go. We're going to have a winner any moment now in this big giveaway. And I already shook this, this cauldron tossed it like pasta. So it's all thoroughly mixed together. And I'm <laughs> in my hand, I'm mixing it some more. Okay, I think it's time to pick a winner. Do I have one? Yes, I have one. 
one name. Okay. Whoever this is, that's the winner. Let's see here. I wish I had a drum roll, but I don't. Well, I there's no way that I can say this name. That's one of the reasons I don't I don't say all the names of the contestants, but 215, but also because many of them have screen names like this one. This is user dash O E six H O six X J five Z user dash O E six H O six X J five Z There it is. I don't know who that is. Does not ring a bell. But that's the winner. So whoever you are, user dash O E six H O six X J five Z. If we're not already Facebook friends, then you need to Send me a friend request to Ray Sharif Castile with a black and white profile picture. And message me, say, hello, I'm the one <laughs> who won. And don't you lie if you're someone out there thinking they're going to uh, get ahead of this person and, and, and steal their prize. I'll find out and you'll be in trouble. Don't do that. So be honest, whoever this person really is get in touch with me on Facebook. And if you're not on Facebook, get on it. So we can exchange information and you can give me your address. If you don't like Facebook, I don't blame you. You can get off it again just as soon as you give me your address. But you do need to be on Facebook to message me and give me your address so I can send you the prize of your choice. And of course you need to tell me, do you want the creature or do you want the Playco monsters? Which one? Your choice. So let me know your choice and then give me your address. This person, whoever that is, I don't know who that is. And that's the nice thing about this contest. It's purely by chance. I'm not picking my friends or whatever. You know, I'm not picking just people I know or, or people who are supposed to win. Anyone can win. If you watch this channel and you responded to the, the contest video, you can win, whoever you are. And uh, I like it that way. All right, I think that's it. Well, it's the end of the year, 2023 is coming to a close, and it's been quite a year. We've been living in interesting times, haven't we, for a while now. I hope 2024 is a great year for you, and if 2023 wasn't so hot, we'll join the club, but I hope it's better. I hope 2024 is a better year where things go right and dreams come true and everything is as it should be. Let's hope. Basement of Horror will continue in, in, in the early months of 2024. I don't think the season is going to be as long as it usually is. Um, I'm hoping that I'll be busy. <laughs> I hope to be busy with some things in the coming year. We'll, you know, we'll see. But that'll make it difficult for me to do as many episodes as often as I usually do. So we may have a shorter season. Uh, but 
we will definitely have some more episodes in the coming year over the winter and the spring you will see more basement of horror i guess that's it um until we meet again in a few weeks the one who dies with the most toys is dead.